me is worth my hope secures he will my shield and portion be as long as life endures yea when this flesh and heart shall fail and mortal life shall cease I shall possess within the veil a life of joy and peace the earth shall soon dissolve like snow That was Amazing Grace by Captain John Newton. Captain John Newton, by the way, who originally was the captain of a slaving ship before he became a Christian, after he became a Christian and through his death, uh, he regretted it immensely and was astounded that God would ever forgive him. And thus, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Um, I played it straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam, so take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. Uh, at the very end, or excuse me, in a moment, I'll do a basic tutorial on everything I just played, including an easier way to play everything I just played. At the very end, I'll do a slow motion close-up play along they might find helpful but right now if you like the video please like the video with a thumbs up if you want lots more subscribe to our youtube channel if you want over a thousand more free downloadable ukulele song sheets each one with a link to its own free video tutorial and play along just like this one then check out our dropbox and then come play with us okay first of all with the right hand let me just say i liked I liked all these verses, so I wanted to do all seven verses. Almost nobody ever sings all seven verses. You can pick and choose whichever ones you want. I wanted to do all seven, but I didn't want it to be boring, so I changed up the arpeggio with each verse. You don't have to do that. It was kind of like a patchwork quilt, right? That, or, a, or more like a sampler that actually has little samplings of different things. I tried to have more power in the through many dangers and the earth, uh, what was it? When we've been there 10,000 years, those sound like the most energetic verses, you know? And I tried to have, uh, be more calm and, and sedate uh, and uh, sort of uh, lullaby-ish in, in the softer ver verses. But so I, I have all the arpeggios that I played listed in the song sheet. You can follow those if you like. I'll show you how I did those. But if you're a beginner or you just don't want to work that hard, you could just do this. Sorry. How sweet the sound. You could do that through the entire thing. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. You could do that. It's not wrong. It'll sound lovely. It really will. You could do that. Okay, now I tell you what, I'm gonna show the chord transitions because they're the same for every verse, and then I'll show all the different arpeggios I did. So it starts, it just starts with the last line, right? That's the intro, that's the last line, uh, excuse me, the intro starts with a G, but then, right? 
Okay, so I'm just going to strum. The, from the e, G, starts on a G. From the G to the E minor, you can just drop a pinky. From the E minor to the D, it's your ring finger that's the key. The ring finger is going to stay stuck to the ukulele and just slide down one. The other fingers drop around that. So there we go. And then the ring finger again is just going to slide back up to the G. And I drop a pinky for that G suspended fourth. Now we get into the verse. Amazing grace. Sorry, just have to jump up and drop down new fingers on that G7. I don't see anything in common between the two sets of fingers. Oh, well. Grace, how sweet. I probably, I probably vary. Sometimes I probably slide my ring finger up. And sometimes I drop my pinky. You can do whatever's more comfortable for, for you. So, amazing grace, how, I'm going to slide my ring finger up. Sweet the sun, now just move your ring finger over one string. Saved a wretch, same chord changes, like, and this is the same as the intro. For that, Which is to say, from here, you're going to go, ring finger's going to slide down to a D. And then, that's all that is. D suspended fourth is just one finger up one fret and then slide it back down again. Isn't that nice? And then slide that ring finger back up to a G again. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Third line is exactly the same as for, uh, the first. And then was blind, but now. And the only difference is the very end of the fourth line. I'm going to slide that ring finger back up to the G drop the pinky again and that's it that is all there are to the chords that is all there are to all the chord transitions no matter what you do with your right hand those are all the same okay now i'm going to show you the arpeggios that i did uh i tell you what i'm going to start with a verse uh you need to be able to see that don't you so i call this a strum arpeggio okay because I'm doing both strumming and plucking. That's the idea. If you're wondering, in this, in these arpeggios, these are all fairly basic. Basic meaning they don't do crazy, crazy things. So I only need four fingers. I don't need my pinky. And I only have four strings. So if you're wondering which finger is plucking which string, well, there you go. It's these four. Those are the four. That is to say, my thumb is always plucking the... the fourth string from the floor. My ring finger is always plucking the first string from the floor. Those are the assignments that I've got. Okay, so, and yes, I'm playing this on a low G ukulele, and some of these arpeggios will sound remarkably different if you're playing them on a high G ukulele, so uh, you can change it up as you like. I thought this sounded fuller and nicer on a, on a low G, so that's why I'm playing it on this, but... Uh, you can change it. Again, there are no rules with this. The rules for ukulele, universal rule number one, have fun. Universal, universal rule number two, be nice. If you're following both of those universal rules, you can switch up any of these strums, arpeggios. You can do them in any way you want. It won't be wrong. It won't be wrong. You'll still be following the two universal rules. All right, here goes then. Uh, so I'm showing you, I'm going to just stay on a G here. The first one I did. So I'm going down with an index finger and then plucking and then I pluck two. So it's down, four, three, two, one and two together and four. That's it. Second verse, I did almost exactly the same thing. I just added a little bit more rest by not doing the final pluck of four, like this. That's it. Instead of doing, I just did. Added a little bit more rest. It sounded a little bit more sedate. 
And then also there was the most drama coming from that to the third verse through many dangerous toils and snares. A lot more power, a lot more sound, a lot more fullness, right? I got no rests and I'm plucking, I, I do twice as many strums, but so strum, pluck, and then I'm plucking all three of these. And then the fourth string and strum, pluck. So strum, pluck, one, two, three, pluck, drum, pluck. That's it. That's it. And then I wanted to calm down a little bit more with verse four. I have no strumming at all. This is exactly the same as the one we did with verse two, except I'm plucking first and second instead of doing a down strum. So no strums, just pluck. Four, three, two, pluck, four. Plucking these two. That's it. Then the most restful verse of all, verse five. Yea, when this flesh and heart shall fail, right? That's it. That's all I'm all I'm doing. When, yea, when this flesh. That's it. Next one, uh, I, I ramp it up a little bit more. I've got, actually, this is a duplicate of which? I, well, maybe it's not a duplicate of any. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think this is a duplicate of the first verse. The earth shall diesel like snow. I just did exactly the same in the sixth as I did in the first duplicate. Oh, well. And then in the seventh, I actually did three different ones because I wanted to start out strong and then calm down. So I started out the same as verse three. That's it. When we bend there 10,000 years. Same for the second line. Right, down. No less. This is the same as the third verse. Days to sing God's praise. Then, and now, uh, this is the same as, it's almost the same as the fourth verse. When we'd first begun. And I just strummed that last G. And that's it. Okay. There was so much variation with the arpeggios, and I think some of you might want to practice that. So this is going to take a long time, but I'm going to play in slow motion through the entire song. <sighs> Get a cup of coffee first. If you'd like to play along with me, uh, it might be good practice for you. Here goes. I'm going to focus. I'm going to tell you what. At first, I'm going to try to show both hands so that you can see the chord transitions, but then I'm going to lean in on my left hand so that you can follow with the arpeggios because the left, excuse me, my right hand, because my left hand isn't going to change. All right, so the intro starts with that last line. Ready? Slow motion. Five, six, seven.
his lead How precious to that grace appear The hour I first believed Tell you what, I'm gonna move this so I can get closer on my right hand, and now I'm gonna switch. There we go. Third verse. Through See you Wednesday, bye.